All right, this is my third video on our uh, Cessna 172F and uh, getting a full restoration. Again, just to update, this airplane hasn't flown in 33 years. And we've been finding all kinds of surprises in this aircraft, like mice, mice nest. I just took this uh, panel off this morning and found one of the biggest mouse nest ever. I mean, that thing was huge up inside there. I'm not going to touch it. i got to sanitize everything. So, if you have an airplane, make sure you keep your mice out of your airplane. They are a mess. So, the engine, we're looking at pulling that engine off and getting an overhaul on it. I'll send it in, get, it, get the mag particle inspection, everything all cleaned up. Get everything inspected really good. Cam crank all cleaned up inspected make sure everything's good to go and then put together and re reinstall it uh, get new tennis shoes put on it tires are looking pretty bad uh, one of the issues that we're running into that looks really really scary is this far so i have two options and i'm really tempted to do this one it's got some corrosion on this and you'll see this with cessnas where the mice or birds they'll they'll nest up in these areas You'll see the bottom of the skin. I have to be either put a doubler on it. The rest of the skin is in really good shape. It's just that one area where I may have to put a doubler on it. It ate through uh, some of the ribs there, the nose ribs. So they're in kind of a rush shape. So I definitely had to pull this leading edge. The light fixture here, I'll need to change that out. Uh, if I do the spar, one nice thing is this, uh, the spar connects right here. There's an extra, uh, this is a double spar here and it goes on on out. So I can either change that or some people just say, just put another wing on it. Uh, like most projects, we're on a budget, so uh, we'll have to determine uh, what we need. Uh, the interior is coming up really nice. I got everything all cleaned up. I'm still cleaning up inside. There's all those holes in there. The mice just had so much fun in there, but they had a big party going on here. And they're upset with me because I moved them. All that up there needs to be cleaned up. Uh, I, it looks rough, but with close inspections, like the mid spar, when you look close inspection on these, they are actually in good shape. It's just that surface stuff. And back in here, we're looking really good up in there. Got all that cleaned up. So we're getting there. The key thing I want to do is get every bit of fabric out of here. I still have to get the firewall out of there. Uh, the, uh, once I get that out of here, this plane will start smelling a lot better. It's already smelling better as it is, so we're really, really happy with that. My wife sure is happy about that. So, but, um, we moved it over to the good hangar, the, you know, so it's a lot warmer in here, a lot easier to work on, We've got a lot more lighting. So, uh, we're going to get her done. Uh, back in here, uh, the birds... Uh, got up in here. This panel was left off from the last A&P mechanic that was left on it. And he took that off 33 years ago and did not put it back on. And inside here, the birds built one hell of a nest. Excuse my expression, but that thing was packed completely full. I had to take the leading edge off. The leading edge itself was packed with all kinds of nesting. Uh, luckily, the leading edge, everything looks pretty good. Just small minor surface corrosion that can be easily easily repaired. So um, all the nuts, bolts, screws, hardware, we're gonna have to get new on this one. Now I definitely gotta get a new windshield on it. But we're getting there and it's gonna be done by Tuesday. Uh, don't ask me what Tuesday. Uh, that's an old joke of mine. <laughs> but uh, this is here, we're working on it really hard. Uh, my Satavia here is going to be getting fabric here really soon, so I'm excited about that, getting the fabric and everything all ready to go on that one. The engine is uh, coming back, and I'll put that. Uh, I'll finish putting the engine together. There's the other wing back there. So we'll uh, uh, get that done, and once uh, the Satavia is ready to go and ready to fly, then I get to work on the Piper Cherokee back here. So. I got my hands full saving these old airplanes. Uh, these were airplanes that were all just sitting around neglected. So guys and gals out there, take good care of your airplanes. If you don't need your airplane, sell it, or, but don't let it turn into a basket case. These airplanes are too beautiful 
to be like this. And it, it's really, really, really sad uh, what I've been finding with this beautiful plane. A lot of people think I'm absolutely nuts doing this, but hey, you know, I'm an aviation nut, so I say, I think they, uh, I think I qualify. But uh, I'll keep some more videos coming as I go along, different projects going on. I'm just taking one section at a time. That's what they say when you talk about an elephant, how do you eat an elephant, one bite at a time. That's what I'm going to do. Take one section at a time, go through this. Uh, our goal is to have this as a show. Uh, this will be an air show quality. You know, we want to really get this airplane looking beautiful. So it's going to be exciting. And uh, a few people have been notifying me that they've been working their Cessnas. And I've been seeing some other Cessna projects of Cessna 150 and stuff like that online or on YouTube. So it's exciting to see what you guys are doing. But uh, I'm glad I'm not the only crazy one out here that's willing to take a basket case and turn into a really, really good aircraft. But uh, that's what we do. We do it for fun. So until next time, uh, everybody take care and fly safe.